Okay. There's the gear. <laughs> Was air operated. There's a micro switch. There is an air pressure indicator from Robart. That is a check valve. That is a Robart controllable bleeder valve, which I modified by taking the two bleeder portions out. These. And I put two regular studs back in, or nipples back in. And there's a hydraulic pump. And how I'm going to control it, if you watch this pin, when the pressure, when I throw that switch, that pressure will drop, that pin will drop. And when it pressures up, that pin will come out. And when I'm done, I'll put this micro switch mounted to it. So when the pressure comes up, it trips and cuts the power off to the motor. The second the power or the the pressure is relieved for any reason, that switch will this will drop, the switch will engage, and the pump will repressurize for whatever mode it's in. So let's throw the valve because I don't have the switch in line. I've got to throw the valve first and then put the power on it. See the pin drop? And the pin came up. And it'll hold. And it's maintaining 20, 40, 60, 80, 120 pounds right now. And I timed it a while ago, and after 15 minutes it hadn't moved. Instantly switch drops, power comes on. Once it's hooked up. Ah. The motor will come on. Pins up, cuts the power. Done deal. Very strong. Very strong. If you've got retracts, you know with air you can buckle that. And you can't buckle that length. This is awesome. My weight gain is 2.5 ounces on this motor and 4 ounces of hydraulic fluid. But I'm using the cool thing is I'm going to use the whole system. All I'm going to change is the valve, take the tank out, put this pump in. Plus a battery pack. This one's really big. This one ran it for, I don't know, 12 minutes of constant duty. So, anyway, cool. One more cycle. Watch the pin. Watch the pin. And it shuts it off. Cool. Thanks for watching.